Chris, thank you. We've been talking about the kids going back to school, the work week beginning for a lot of us, but we're going to look ahead to Friday when a one of a kind music festival kicks off in the suburbs. It's unique, not just in what you'll hear, but also in what you'll see there. Morning Insider Lauren Victory gives us a preview of the funky weekend. From slabs of concrete to splashes of color. A lot of work needs to happen in a few short days on the fields and gravel next to SeatGeek Stadium in Bridgeview. Can you imagine how much this area is going to transform? It's really incredible what it turns into from what it begins as. Chicago and Michael Berg is the founder of the first ever Sacred Rose Festival. It's happening Friday the 26th through Sunday the 28th. There's no electronic music, no hip hop. Um, it's all Americana bands. Bluegrass, funk, indie rock, psychedelic rock, jam bands. Green Sky Bluegrass plays Sunday. Guitarist Dave Bruza says booking the gig was a no-brainer, and he calls Sacred Rose organizers forward-thinking. So with the lineup, uh, it seems like they're really striving to put together a really um, great experience for the listener. And an experience that goes beyond music. These flashy flags are where we walked with Berg. Over here is going to be the canopy stage. Multi-sensory artistic displays that spew fire and shoot rainbows are going to be scattered across festival grounds. Inside this dome, air conditioning and a laser show. You don't have to just rush the front of the stage to experience the music. You can maybe like get off of your feet and lay with your best friend or your boyfriend or girlfriend or your partner. The name Sacred Rose pays homage in part to musician Burt Rose. The first night of the festival is actually the five year anniversary of his passing. Rose is Berg's grandfather. A meaningful and momentous weekend with more than 50,000 people expected. Lauren Victory, CBS 2 News. Sacred Rose organizers get a tiny break, then they host another festival at SeatGeek the following weekend. That's called North Coast and will feature electronic dance music. For more stories like this one, download our CBS Chicago app and look for the section called Morning Insider.